I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and another Kitchen Basic. Today we're going to show you how we bake sweet potatoes to serve as a side dish on any occasion. We've uh, gone ahead and topped this one with some butter, brown sugar, and a few pecans, but you can do yours any way you like. So let's go see how easy it is to bake sweet potatoes. Alright, we're just going to go, this is a very, very, very basic kitchen basic this week. A um, um, few videos back, I made baked sweet potatoes, and more than one person asked me to show how I prepare my baked sweet potatoes. These are very, very simple. Um, I have four large sweet potatoes that I have scrubbed, and I've taken, sometimes the sweet potato will have a long kind of tendril coming off of it, um, and it's, it's, it's just a little root hair, that's what I call them. Um, you just need to kind of scrub it off, and it'll come right off, not a problem. But um, so these are clean, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to prepare them to go in the oven. Now, I don't put any oil or anything on them. What I do, though, is I just take my very sharp knife, and I cut off the end tips. So these are going to be flat. And this, you don't have to pierce these with a fork or anything. They will be just fine just cut off the very tips and this will help it so that when it starts to um, bake and cook off the natural sugars are going to be able to drain out of the ends instead of rupturing the potato because if you don't do this the potato can have a tendency to rupture and well it won't taste any different it you know it's not pretty <laughs> um, and this is my favorite knife. This is my Rada Cooks knife. It's a full-sized one. I love it. Uh, if you're interested in getting your own, I will go ahead and put the information in the description box, and I'll give you a link to that. So I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. I told you it was simple. I do not salt sweet potatoes like I do a regular russet potato, and I just put them in there just like this. We're going to go ahead and put them in the middle rack, just like that. In they go. They're going to bake for about 45 minutes to an hour. You need to watch sweet potatoes because they don't take as long as russets. And they get very soft very quickly once they're ready. Alright, it's time to pull our sweet potatoes out of the oven and then we'll just make sure that they're finished. I can almost tell just by looking at them that they're done. Let me grab a steak knife. You see how they kind of look puffy? If you tap on them, the outside is a little crispy. Yeah. They're good. They, they are not completely mushy in the middle, but they're soft and they give easily to the knife. Not a little bit carryover. They, and you're going to have a little carryover cooking as well, so just keep that in mind. And then you can see on the bottom, sometimes you'll see a little caramelization, but these are perfect. And this is also how you want to bake sweet potatoes if you're going to make anything out of sweet potatoes, like if you need them mashed. So that's how you prepare them. So we'll be back when it's time to cut one of these open and fix it for dinner. All right, here we go. Our sweet potatoes are done roasting, baking, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to show you how we prepare it. I just like to take the knife, split it, and I like to kind of, if it will cooperate. Sometimes sweet potatoes can be a little... You know, they have a mind of their own. So if you just get in here, and you see how the sweet potatoes are kind of fibrous, you just kind of want to run your fork along them like that. And that way, everything kind of mashes up real nice. Now what I like to do is a little bit of butter, just like that, out of the butter bell, and a sprinkling of brown sugar. Now you can also choose to make a little maple butter by adding brown sugar, maple syrup, and some butter to a, um, a bowl and mix it together until it's kind of a whipped consistency. You could throw some pecans in there and nobody would complain about that. All right, we'll throw a few pecans in there for good measure. I think that'll be just delicious. Mm -hmm. Don't you? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You can just let everything melt together and get happy and mingle and 
enjoy each other, and then you'll be able to enjoy that baked sweet potato. This is a fantastic side dish, an alternative to a regular potato. People who are suffering from or dealing with type 2 diabetes or diabetes in general, sweet potatoes are an excellent choice. They're full of fiber, they're lower on the glycemic index, and they're a great choice instead of a regular starchy potato. So, these are great for Thanksgiving. These are great for any time. We love them all the time in our house. We eat baked sweet potatoes quite often, quite actually. North Carolina is one of the biggest processors of sweet potatoes in the country, so we're kind of fortunate and we usually have them at a very good price all year long. So I hope you give these baked sweet potatoes a try. I know this is a very basic way, but I wanted to cover all the bases because there are a lot of folks out there coming up and they don't know how to do things yet. So it's always good to learn something new and maybe be reminded of something that you forgot about for a little while. So I hope you give baked sweet potatoes a try. I hope you love them. And until next time, I'll see ya. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you like what you watched today and I hope that you try it and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!